I believe PSYOP, you said earlier I was, I'm a past president, and I recently served on the PSYOP's executive board as a rep for PSYOP to the American Psychological Association. And PSYOP is wrestling with this question. PSYOP's taking this very seriously. And one way, one answer to this question that I think PSYOP is doing so well is we have two tracks at our annual conference. So one for the academics. Well, we've been doing that since the 1940s. However, we now have a track for practitioners. And a signal that's being sent to the membership is that both are equally important. As I said earlier, the findings are reciprocal from one side to the other side. And then PSYOP also stresses, in fact, I think PSYOP would slap my hand for what I just said, rather than saying the two sides, is the integration of the two sides with the word scientist hyphen practitioner. And as you know, sometimes I say the other way around. I like practitioner hyphen scientist. Uh, I like that because what I'm saying is I do a lot in practice. I do have a strong consulting practice, and I'm drawing on science as opposed to uh, my latest intuitions as to what's most appropriate for helping the client. So I think that's one way. I think in addition, having, uh, what was, we're conducting this at the University of Toronto. Now, if you really want to embarrass me, ask this question. How many practitioners have my faculty invited to give a colloquium. Now, I've been here 29 years. I think I can remember two, but don't ask me their names. <laughs> I don't recall. Well, that sends a very loud signal to our doctoral students that the only thing that counts is academe. I say that's nonsense. So I think academics need to do more to bring in practitioners to speak and then grill them with questions as to what practitioners are being confronted by with their clients, and then having discussion groups as to what we know. You know, theory has arguably benefited science. Here's an embarrassing question. To what extent has theory uh, enabled practitioners? in 2019. I'd love to hear that answer from some of our journal editors. <laughs> <laughs>